place a transponder in the guidance system of the booster. Doctor Bill Douglas and up the four steps now and into the transfer van. His helmet is on this morning. He's not carrying it in his hand. A uh, couple of the doctors and technicians boarding the van with him. Leaving the hangar. Moving along, it'll take about 10 to 12 minutes to get down to the hangar where his rocket is ready and waiting for him. Switching the portable air cooler from his left to his right hand and back to his left and he moves his way around the front of the truck on launch pad 14 moving along some of the superstructure of the tower and smiling and waving his hand for a moment to some of the workmen there and shaking hands for a moment and now stepping into the elevator followed by Dr. Douglas by suit technician Schmidt by astronaut Deke Slayton just Galoshes, the overshoes, which are to protect the shoes and keep them as free of dirt as possible. And momentarily, they're off now and puts his right and left foot in and moves in first part of his body through the hatch, holding on with both hands for a moment or so, then with one hand on a hole bar above the relatively small hatchway. Making his way very carefully into the capsule, into the spacecraft, and is being helped by the suit technician Joe Schmidt and by a NASA technician, NASA inspector. And his suit appears to be pressurized at this point. Seems to be trying to see whether he can perform all the movements with an inflated suit that he might have to make in flight.